Despite what the YouTube millennial movie commentary community will tell you, 1995 was actually a good year for movies. Maybe it wasn't a great year for sci-fi, but we got more cyberpunk than typical. And I think our best example was Strange Days. This is a film co-written and the story, it's by James Cameron. Kick the directing duties to Catherine Bigelow, you know that first female to win the Oscar for best director? Now Demolition Man's getting retroactive fame for predicting the future. Can we not apply some of this to Strange Days, which I feel like got more right than it got wrong. It's just a shame no one seems to know about this film. But hey, if I'm introducing it to you, please give a like. That's the best way to get this out to the algorithm gods. So our film takes place in the final days of 1999, just before the dawn of a new millennium. Los Angeles is a hellhole. Yeah, okay, so maybe they didn't quite get the years right, but is that not how it is? Our protagonist is Lenny Nero, uh, played by Ray Fiennes with this nasally pitch. He will look and sound like Deckard when he was trying to to get close to the snake gal in the original Blade Runner. Lenny is a smut peddler, but he doesn't peddle uh, pornography or per se or uh, drugs per se. No, this drug is different. This is uh, playback or the wire. It requires the squid. It's people actively wearing a device that collects their senses and then being able to play it back. Those of you who've played Cyberpunk 2077 may know this as a brain dance. But as I see it in our relation to today, it is like live streaming your crime spree. It seems like with technology, we have all these great intentions and they get put to such horrible practical use. Being from 1995, we have limited effects capabilities. I think that somewhere in these very long takes, there's probably a hidden edit. Regardless, I can see today's version of Strange Days looking far more green screen. Story's not exactly airtight relies a bit on convenience and maybe there could have been more pulse pounding action but it's by no means an action movie basically you got some cops off some rappers and uh one of the hoes that was with them had a wire recording the murder and now they have to go get her she passes this off to lenny he has problems with juliet lewis who is never nearly as attractive as people will tell you she is despite the fact that she wears no clothes for the duration of this film. As people are after Lenny for he doesn't know exactly why, he gets help from his friend Mace, played by Angela Bassett, at the height of her powers. And you may recognize her line from this film recirculating in Fatboy Slim's Right Here, Right Now. Right here, right now! I'm not so sure that the converging plots that Lenny falls into or worked against him actually add up so much as they're convenient for the pacing of the film. But the film does a quality job of explaining this new tech concept to the audience in a way that we can interpret, keeping techno babble to a minimum. Strange Days looks great. There's none of that mid-90s CGI or the burden of digital color correction. Maybe you aren't rooting for the characters, but the performances are okay. And most of the music is banging. Well, except for the uh, canned, oppressed, freedom-fighting rap. I know it's not saying much, but if you're looking for one of the better cyberpunk entries, check out Strange Days. I give it two and a half out of four stars. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.